So every condition is different, every patient is different. Um, but I think some conditions are obviously curable. When I say curable, I mean that if we treat it successfully, the person will have a normal lifespan and uh, he should, should be able to recover and make a, a lead a normal life. You know. So in that case, I think you know, treatment should be aggressive. You know, we should do everything possible, you know, even if it has to involve surgery or chemotherapy. If there's a chance of recovery, you know, re having a normal life, going back to a normal kind of uh, function and lifestyle, then yes, I think we should do as much as humanly possible. The difficulty comes when certain conditions uh, you cannot predict what the best outcome will be. And it may be that the best outcome is that you extend the person's life by a few weeks, by a few months, you know, maybe a year. The other question to ask ourselves is, what is the functional status of the person? You know, would he be able to talk? Would he be alert? Would he be able to respond to those who are taking care of him? Would he be able to work? Would he be able to uh, function normally? Or have to depend on somebody to bathe, to eat, to change his clothes? You know? These are what we call the quality of life considerations. There's a time sometimes that we will have to decide you know, and say that no further treatment is necessary and, and that uh, it's more important for a person to die with dignity. Certain things, I think, is, as a human being, is not in our hands, you know. And as a Christian, I believe it is in God's hands. So, you know, we should not take upon ourselves to become a God, you know, or to have the power of life and death. You know, we have to realise that we are also humans, we are also limited. We do our best what we can do to comfort, to encourage, you know, and to even cure if possible. But when that's not possible, I think there has to be a point where we are prepared to let go. I I think it's been said once, uh, you can live uh, a few days without food. You can live maybe one day without water, but you won't be able to survive one second without hope. 